Hey everybody, it's Highs and Nerd here, alongside Geek Mara. We are back with another Saturday haul video. I believe 16. this is 16. <laughs> um, we're getting up there. Uh, if you don't know, this is where we collect everything throughout the week, and as we unbox it, you get to see it first time with us, because we never unbox anything until Saturday. But we do like pick <laughs> things up throughout the week. We do Amazon orders and all that, and we save everything. Um, First thing I want to start off with is a prize that I won uh, through a Facebook competition uh, that Paul Yarmer um, held a couple weeks ago. He had like a little scavenger hunt for his very first YouTube video. Uh, we will leave the link to his YouTube channel in the description below, so go subscribe to him. He's a really nice guy, and he is the admin for Funko Collector Core on, on Facebook, so we'll leave that below too. Um, go like that, give him some support, let's get those numbers up. And he, uh, it was like a consolation prize. Um, two, there were two winners, and then I answered. I, I was so close, and I got almost. I think I got all the answers correct. So he kind of chose me as like a third place winner. And it was really cool of him because he um, sent the the Marvel random keychain Daredevil. I already had him, but um, I know Alicia is a big fan of Daredevil as well. We both have some of these keychains but she didn't have the daredevil and after seeing that season one on netflix i know that you're a big fan so Thank you. another prize <laughs> i won for her totally really awesome cool. stuff it's like go check them out funko collector core on facebook really nice people a great group and if you're a funko fan like it's just right for anybody like it's right for anybody who's a funko fan so well and then go check out his youtube channel as well the next thing is from another friend that we know, Cubs fan, uh, Josh and Beth were nice enough to find me, the Walgreens Yoda Spirit Glow in the Dark, and like, can't even believe it, but he sent it in like a really awesome pop protector, it came in excellent condition, and now this completes my Walgreens set of the four Star Wars pops. Um, and I actually have all four, all four of my boxes has the Walgreens misprint, it actually has two L's instead of just the one. I know they ended up correcting those because one of your boxes they has put, the like, stickers over them. Um, the to Marvel like, <laughs> to correct them. The Walgreens Marvel Pop exclusives had like the exclusive sticker, and that's what they started going with. But that was after the fact that they realized that they messed up, messed up, and everything. But he glows in the dark really well. His whole body glows and everything. And I'm gonna keep him in the pop protector. So um, if you if you want to see him out of the box, um, our last weekend haul. I think yeah. it was last weekend. She ended up getting him. We took him out of the box. So if you want to check that out, see him out of the box. But I'm gonna leave him in the pop protector. He's really awesome. Okay. Um, next thing, this guy. I, he's not not special or anything. But I've been like looking at him and looking at him like everywhere. So I don't want to get him. It's a uh, bib Fortuna. So. That's awesome. <laughs> and he looks so cool. I got really excited about his little teeth. So <laughs> yeah, his teeth I've remind really me been, of Pennywise. I've really been looking forward to getting him out of the box and taking a look at him. He's got a nice little spot right up there. He's going to go right with Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, I'm a little shy on uh, bad guys. so Just a tad. I mean, yeah. the Flock Wampa takes up a little bit of extra That's space, true. but he is like the centerpiece. <laughs> But yeah, he's really cool. I've been looking forward to seeing his head. His he's head actually the very cool. first one out of this set that you needed to like, or that you don't ha you don't have any in this set. He's oh, the first okay. one. This is all the set. And he's really cool. Star right? Wars has so many pops. Like, there's a ton. Ooh, sorry. sorry. Very good. This head is really cool. <laughs> he's got his little like skin Tony tails going on and stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. I love his blue outfit and everything. And yeah, that giant, like... And it's all lumpy. Well, he's got two of them, actually. Yeah, he's that, got two. Like, I didn't realize that. I thought it was all that's just one I thought giant. It was one like, too. It's like a tentacle coming out of his head. He's so cool. I love those teeth. Love it. <laughs> Definitely a must have. I'm yeah. trying to talk her into getting Greedo, so. I'm probably going to have comments. I'm sure I'll probably get Blow Greedo. Blow up the comments for her to get Greedo. <laughs> Greedo's amazing. Okay, next one up. I had to get this for the, um, in honor of season six premiere tomorrow. 
I went ahead and got the previews exclusive Biker Daryl from FYE. I'd seen him a couple times and passed on him. Um, you picked him up quite a while ago. I had. And he disappeared, <laughs> and we just recently, like I said, started seeing him again. And I believe it was Wednesday we picked this guy up. And he is so cool. Um, we actually picked up the bib and the Daryl together because RFYE does the buy one get one half off. Deals or whatever. He stands up great. Awesome. And let's see, do I have this whole set? No, I don't. This is Biker Daryl, Carl, Maggie, Penny, Andrew Daryl, and Woodbury Walker. And I don't have any of the walkers except for that exclusive Comic Con one I just unboxed from the prize on Facebook before. But I do have Carl and Maggie and the injured Daryl, so that's really cool. I love it. Had to have him. I, I'm not sure if there's much of a difference other than like he he's ready to ride on the motorcycle, but I think that's the one from Pop Rides. Oh, okay. And then yeah, it looks like the the Walmart black and white exclusive, except that one's got his bow raised and not a knife in his yeah. hand. Did you show him off? I didn't show him. Off. That's all right. He's got like his wings on his jacket, and instead of having the bow up, it's up and it's just down in one hand because he's got his knife ready in the other. And Daryl uses that knife quite a bit, so I really like it. He's got his longer hair. I cannot wait until season six premiere tomorrow night. It's gonna be <laughs> epic, so epic, and he stands up good too. Cool. Okay. Next thing that I picked up is I finally got my Obi Wan. Yeah. So <laughs> glad he was released from the vault. Yeah, and I even <clears throat> I passed on him like the, we seen one a couple weeks ago. And I was like, oh, there's going to be bunches of them. Yeah. And then we didn't see another one until today. Kind of went into like, panic mode there yeah. for a minute. So he was the only other one at the GameStop we went to today. So I had to get him. We went looking for those horror minis, those mis uh, the Series 2 horror mystery minis that just came out. Seeing everybody getting them. Yeah. Apparently you can only get them at GameStop right now. So we stopped at a few other places looking for them and didn't see them at all. But, oh man, that is so epic. Totally essential. Absolutely. <laughs> so he's really cool. So another hero and another villain to go yeah. with this. Oh my gosh, he bobbles so well. Yeah, he's cool. I might have to pick him up. <laughs> he is so cool. I love his lightsaber. That is really cool. It's it's either a darker shade it's, of blue or it's a, a little cool more translucent. The other ones are green. That is so cool. Do you know they don't make maze with his, his purple? So yeah, as you know, big Star Wars fan over here. She's just about finished, like I said. Yeah, that's basically... Spam us to get her to get Greedo. <laughs> but is it my turn? I think that we both got the next one. Oh yeah. These are ones we ordered and definitely must have. So we've never seen it in the store. Nightmare Before Christmas, Little Zero, to go. I have the Pumpkin King, the Glow in the Dark from Hot Topic. She's got one heck of a collection going on over there. I've got Santa Jack, Pumpkin King, Oogie Boogie, and Nightshade Sally. So. And you have the Barnes and Noble exclusive tin the with the little, pops. yeah, the little pocket tops and the Oogie Boogie glows in the dark. This is such a cool pop though right here. I yeah. love Zero. He's my favorite character from the movie. Absolutely my favorite character. Here, I'm gonna put this aside. We'll use your box. But look at him. He's a little itty bitty guy. <laughs> but he's got the, the jack-o'-lantern for the nose. And his ears are flopping back. Like he's like leading the pack right now. He is so cool. Like he's gonna, he's got like that nice, like small base, so he's gonna stand up perfect. Little mm -hmm. red collar and everything. I love his nose. His nose yeah, is so nose epic. Is adorable. It's adorable. Such an awesome pop vinyl. <laughs> he's so tiny, but I love him. Yeah. Awesome really stuff. Cool. And he is part of Pop Disney. Oh no, Pop Disney, yeah, but there's all the Nightmare Before Christmas. I guess Pop Disney did an entire NBC. Like collection, so that's really cool. You have the Oogie Boogie and Zero and Santa Jack. I think he's retired. And yeah. Too. Let like us Mayor. know if there's any way to find Mayor, because he would be awesome too. But yeah, we both got Zero. Those were from an order that we received just this morning too. So lucky to get it. One we're of so like happy the most amazingly packed Amazon orders we got too. They like oh, super yeah. bubble wrapped everything. It was crazy. It was a huge roll of bubble wrap because last weekend's haul, um, our Amazon order was crushed. Smashed. So, all right, am I up? Yeah. 
All right. These were just released the other day. It's the New York Comic Con exclusives. I got the Patina Cthulhu. Uh, he was the one that I wanted most. We got up early that morning to find these, and apparently, like, they're still like highly like in stock. So that was pretty lucky, but. I was just glad to get this as soon as possible because I love the. We uh, just recently picked up Glow in the Dark Cthulhu. We ordered him. And he is such a heavy and detailed pop. And this patina coloring is epic. I absolutely love it. They should do more patina <laughs> pop vinyls. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That is so cool. It's, his like tentacles and like the suckers on his head. Look at the wings. Those wings are epic. He is so heavy. He he's almost as big as my six inch Thanos. So, and I absolutely love that patina color. Man, that is epic. Absolutely adore this. I knew it the moment I saw it. I had to have that. But yeah, that is the he's patina really cool. Cthulhu. And he even feels. It's got like the New York Comic Con sticker and everything on it. I. I believe it's the same box art and everything. Pop books, though. This is not pop movies or anything. I don't know. I don't I know. Like the only pop I'm not books. familiar with the movie that Cthulhu is associated with. But I think there is a movie. But he is more of a story, so. Pop books. So glad to have gotten that. <laughs> um, Look like how big he is compared <laughs> to Zero. zero. Like, <laughs> That's awesome. I love it so much. He's uh, going right up there with my glow-in-the-dark Cthulhu. <laughs> uh, when he picked up his Cthulhu, I had to get the uh, Jack and Vampire Teddy New York Comic Con exclusive. And I'm, I'm going to have to, I might like a display it in the box, but I really, really, really want to look at it. So. Yeah, she has the Pumpkin King and Santa Jack. So instead of like getting regular Jack, we decided well get this one. he looks just like the regular Jack. I'm not sure if it is and like the vampire Teddy is what makes it exclusive or if he's in a different pose. But yeah. I'm wondering if they're two pieces or one. Oh, they That's, are two pieces. They are two okay, pieces, yeah. separate pieces. I know that one up top, that Jack Skellington with the snowflake, is a Hot Topic exclusive. Yeah, I like that Jack Skellington too. Yeah, I really so. like those. But I think it is, it looks like it's regular Jack. Okay, cool. With the little teddy. And this is so. Pop Disney as well. There's Jack. And here is the adorable little teddy. Little vampire. <laughs> they, uh, the coloring of the material on their faces look like they should glow in the dark. Because I, I thought that like Jack Skellington was white, like obviously like a skeleton head, and he greenish. looks almost green. So I was really like sad to see that he didn't go in the dark, but he does stand up good. And this one right here is awesome because it's got that cape in the back, so he stands up awesome. Perfect. Cool. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's break out the knife. <laughs> it's time to do some mystery minis. I'm gonna clear these boxes off. So we did find uh, our our closest GameStop wasn't so long. They didn't have any, but like we went a little tiny bit farther, and the, that GameStop had quite a few. So we picked up some of our horror series, series two. two mystery money. Yeah, that was a bummer. We had to like call several different yeah. GameStops because our local didn't have any, but we were able to track them down. And I'm pretty sure Cubs fan was trying to tell me some sort of way to figure out the exclusive um, the exclusive spots where they put those in the case. And our GameStop takes them out of the case and like stacks them up against like yeah, a, like a wall case, with all their yeah. other mystery minis. So they had all been mixed up. But there's a lot of these that I would like. I, like the only thing I would be disappointed with is like regular Alfred Hitchcock or uh, the. The dude from Lost Boys. I think his name's David. Yeah. But everything else, I'd be... Wanting. Yeah, I'd be a little disappointed if Crow was 1 in 12, but Crow actually turns one out to be an ex like one of the rarer ones. So I really be cool. would love Beetlejuice, Edward, The Fly. That, and a lot that, of these are really cool. That marketing so. strategy of Funko yeah, making Pinhead sneaky, 1 in 72, sneaky. that is just <laughs> rotten. Alright. I don't even think that's right. Let's see here. What did we get? Hmm. Is it exciting? Hmm. Not sure. Uh, Maybe 
not super exciting. Yeah, let's pull these back so we can I think I know them. what this might be. Yeah. Actually, no, it might be exciting. I don't know. I'm going to have to just open it up because it's, it's between like two things. So I'm not sure. That's, yeah, I got my Beetle Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so he is cool. definitely one of the ones you would want. <laughs> really? Oh, I, I think That's I knocked right. somebody over. That's all right. Jack. I got him. That's cool. I'm happy with Beetlejuice. You see this guy? And Michael Keaton. Oh man, he's all <laughs> splattered with his slime or whatever that dude's covered in right there. He is awesome. <laughs> That's cool. That Sweet. is so cool. Now you gotta get the Beetlejuice pop final. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all right. I ended up getting a couple too, so I will go next. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this one first. All right. I want to see either Pinhead, obviously, but I want to see either Cthulhu, Edward Scissorhands, Fly, or Stripe. Yeah, I kind of want to Stripe. All right. Like I've been saying all day, if you've seen the Facebook post, <laughs> keep my fingers crossed all night. The anticipation has been killing me. Oh, man. Definitely probably going to have to go out and get more of these eventually. <laughs> as soon as possible, probably, because these are so detailed. All right, let's see. Um, oh, there's a lot of air in this. Hmm. Oh, okay, I know what I got. Aww, mm. what? That's one of the ones that I wasn't too thrilled about, but he's still a funny character. And it is Ed from Aww. Shaun of the Dead. He's a pretty big guy. I thought like, I'd go with the heavier one. That and was the heavy yeah, one. Yeah, he was pretty heavy. His shirt says, I got wood. <laughs> and he's got like a bloody shovel and everything. Let me see if I can show him off a little better. That's, that's cool. But definitely not what I would have wanted. But, I mean, I've gotten lucky like pretty consistently with these minis so you win some and you lose some with that mystery <laughs> factor so that was just one I guess to add to the collection if I ever get more so <laughs> got it <laughs> <laughs> you got your Beetlejuice okay next one here mm -hmm. yeah. this is awesome yeah he's so cute This was the very first one I picked up too. Love it. <laughs> yeah, I always stick with my gut feeling, so. I just grabbed three and was like, I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> Good right. call so far. I love that Beetlejuice. <laughs> Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. This is interesting. I'm having a hard time telling what this is for sure. So far we got Beetlejuice who's a 1 in 12 and Ed which is 1 in 12. So we haven't gotten any rare ones but this they're still one pretty feels detailed. This really really strange. Oh I think I know what I maybe got. Maybe. I don't want to get myself too excited but I think I might know. I was going to say like you got me all excited. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. You got a little stripe? Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> He's a little itty bitty. I thought he would be like the lightest of like the the set. Poor Jack. I'll, I'll keep knocking him over. Jack. Yeah, and that's Ed really cool. All falling over. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get like an actual table. I say it every time. <laughs> oh my gosh, right. you got two of the coolest ones. And I got Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet stuff. All right. Come on, this one's got to be awesome. All right, this um, is, um, she ended up getting three, so there's one left after this. This is my last one, so I'm really hoping that I got one that I wanted. I really, 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 really do think now, like, I need some Edward scissor hands or some pinhead in my life. <laughs> All right, come on. And... Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Hmm. Oh, I think I know what this is too. Man, I did not have any luck with the ones that I wanted, that's for sure. That's too bad. 
But this one's still going to be pretty cool. It is David Aww. from <laughs> Lost Boys, the Kiefer Sutherland pop. Um, I'm not too sure what that is in his hands, but... I think it's like Chinese food. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I got it. Ed from Shaun of the Dead and David, I believe, from Lost Boys. Excellent. So they were both, yeah, 1 in 12, so... Sweet stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Super awesome. You All got right. <laughs> <laughs> She definitely won this time, like, with the mystery minis. All right, let's see some like epicness here. Like, if these weren't epic enough, I want to see something that blows these two things out of the water. <laughs> like, I just feel like they should just go to battle here. <laughs> Chinese food versus shovel. Okay. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, I think I might know what this one is too. Is it exciting? Yeah. Is I think it? So. <laughs> Alright. Well, at least she got three of them that are really cool. I think. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she just got like every single good one that was possible. Her hands. I'm Sweet. so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's whatever. Like, you win some, you lose some, yeah, like I said. really cool. You're just knocking everything Everyone over. Go for her. <laughs> Jack. I'm gonna have to make a stand for Jack. I feel like he's being stubborn. The Jacks do struggle. Alright, sweet. So she got all the awesome ones <laughs> and I got two of the worst ones. So that's like really crappy, but so glad that I was able to get Cthulhu. He makes up for it. And Zero. Little Zero and Daryl. Season 6 is coming up, so I get to look forward to that. Definitely though. Love my Cthulhu. He's my favorite. What's your favorite? Um, oh my gosh. Like, these, I can't, like, I just can't believe I got those three. Yeah, They're all 1 in 12. It was awesome to be able to find him again, too. Yeah, like, I didn't think I was going to be able to get him at all. He bobbles so well. Bib, Bib's everywhere, but, like, a must-have to go right next to Jabba the Hutt. Hopefully we can find that three-pack at Walmart and get that little crumb, salacious crumb. Mm -hmm. He'd be cool. Yeah. So, yeah, that was Saturday Hall 16. So, um, that, we're getting up there. And we're definitely going to go ha have to go back and get some more of these horror minis because I'm not settling for <laughs> Lost Boys and Shaun of the Dead. Like, <laughs> comedy in a horror... I don't know. But anyway, tell us what your favorite item was. Definitely Cthulhu for me. She's got the awesome minis. So, yeah, hit that thumbs up. It means a lot. This is Heisenberg out. See you later.